Hi guys, DFX Pictures here, and in this tutorial, I will be showing you how you can burn any AVI movie, which mine is right here, to a DVD to watch on your home DVD players or any other DVD player you might find. Okay, first you're going to want to go to your internet browser. Mine is Google Chrome, and I'm going to be searching with Google. Now, if you don't want to follow along here, I will put the links in the sidebar, but if for some reason you can't open the links, I will just show you what to type. The first program you're going to need is called DVD Flick. These are both free programs. Click on the first link. Go to... Where is it? Download. Click on Download right here. As you can see, it started downloading. Um, you're going to want to save it. Then let it download, but I'm already done downloading it. I've been using it for a while now, so I'm just going to close that off. Next program you're going to want to get is one called Image Burn. Now the first one, DVD Flick, lets you encode the movie so you can actually watch it on your home DVD players. But this one lets you actually put it to disk after it is finished encoding. So go to Image Burn. Go to, uh, where is it? Sorry. Scroll down to News, and it will say Image Burn version 2.5.1.0 released, or whatever version you might be. You might watch this a year from now, and it might be different, but click here to download. Now, the cool thing about this is if you want a translation file, you can download them here, but I'm English, so I'm just going to stick with English. There are currently eight mirrors. For this version so if one of them doesn't work just pick one that does once you open it it should automatically start downloading okay you just click on it i'll even show you but i will discard because i already have it okay like i said links will be in the sidebar if you don't want to do that okay now you're going to want to open up dvd flick And both of these programs don't take up any space at all. So even if you have the most basic computer, should be able to run this no problem. Okay, you're going to want to click on New Project. Add Title. You're going to want to find your AVI file. Oh wait, mine's right there. See? AVI. So you open it. Okay, first before you start making your DVD, I know you're probably very anxious. First, you want to go to Project Settings. You can name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Um, target size. The custom DV size is 4.3. So if you're using something else, let's say like a CD, but you obviously wouldn't be burning a full two-hour movie to it, or a mini DVD, dual link, dual dual layer. Sorry. Then put your uh, target size or even a custom size encoder. Because my processor can handle it, I'm going to put it to high. Okay? Thread count, don't worry about that. But if your computer, you don't, if you're going to be using it a lot while you're running this, and you don't think your computer can support it, then leave it at normal. But I would not recommend putting it below, norm below normal. Sorry. Okay. Target format. Now, you will only change this to PAL. If you live in somewhere, let's say, like England or any other part of Europe, because that is the encoding for Europe and TSC is for North America. So if you live in Canada or United States, make sure it's NTSC. And if you live in Europe, make sure it's PAL. This won't work if you choose the wrong one. So since I live in North America, it's NTSC. Encoding, like I said, I'm going to put it to best. Okay, audio, you can uh, modify it if you want, but it's always fine for me. Okay, make sure you go to burn it. This is the most important part. Make sure you go to burn project to disk. Make sure you click that right here. Disk label, whatever you want. I'm going to call it YouTube tutorial. Okay, make sure you get the right drive. You may have multiple drives. I only have one, so make sure you get the right one. Uh, speed. I'm just going to leave it on 4x. My driver is a 22x, but 
not good to mess around with the settings in this usually goes very fast so and if you want so you know when it's done eject tray when finished okay um except then you're gonna want to go to create dvd that's just saying i already picked the destination folder and it will have to overwrite it and i know that that is fine um I was done with the other movie anyways. Okay, now this pops up. So this project will be burnt to disk after it has finished encoding. Please make sure there is a blank disk in the recorder drive you selected. Okay? So now it's encoding. After it is done encoding, it will automatically open up this program called Image Burn. And because that was only like a three minute file, it did not take a long time. Now, I'm not going to put a disk in here and waste a disk, but if you have a disk in there, it will automatically start burning it. You don't gotta click on it, okay? But, like I said, I do not have a disk in there. And then, if you want, you can test out your video by going to computer. There's your drive right there. It would show that there's a CD in there. And just click on it. And you can see if it works. Um, I haven't had a problem with this yet. If you guys do have any problems, please don't forget to comment or ask a question and then I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys for listening to this and please remember to subscribe to DFX Pictures.